that you'll find. Hey guys, this is Ben Weiser. I'm going to give you a tour of some of the hooks that you'll find in the Genesis framework and explain to you a little bit as to how you can actually use these things. So when you're logged into your WordPress dashboard, we're actually going to add a plugin that's going to make this a lot easier. So make sure you're logged in, go to plugins, add new, and now we're going to search for Genesis visual hooks. And boom, first result is the Genesis Visual Hook Guide with over 10,000 active installs. Go ahead and install that. This is one of those Genesis plugins that I absolutely cannot live without. It is so incredibly useful and simple. Um, thank you very much to the developer, Christopher Cochran, for uh, building this beautiful, beautiful tool. So what's going to happen is... Once we activate it, that's it. There's nothing else we need to do. Simply load your website while you're logged in, and you're going to have this new option up here called the G Hook Guide, where you can show your action hooks, your filter hooks, or your markup, and then clear all of that. So let's go ahead and click on Action Hooks. And suddenly we have all these little orange boxes with text. Each one of these is a hook in Genesis. So what that means is that you can actually write an instruction in PHP to put, say, a widget area or a bit of content or maybe it's social icons or maybe you want to move the navigation from one area to another area. You actually use these hooks to hook in to the structure of your page right here. Okay. So the first hook we have is Genesis before. And the last one we have on here is Genesis after. There are a lot more hooks than you see on here, uh, which are all listed on my blog post. But on this particular page, these are the hooks that we have available to us. So when you write a hook, you're basically going to say add action, the hook name, and then whatever function you want to add to that particular area. So for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to go into detail as to how to actually do that. I just wanted to introduce you guys to the fact that maybe unbeknownst to you, there are quite a few areas on your website where you can actually place content and how to actually see those areas by using this tool. So later on when you do go to write PHP and you want to move something to a specific area, you can easily see what hook you want to target using this visual um, plugin. And you can just simply copy and then paste into your code whichever hook area you're trying to use. All right, guys, so that about wraps up this video. If you want to know a little bit more how to use hooks, please click on the link below to visit my blog post where I explain them in much greater detail. Thank you very much.